What is going on guys? My name is Senna and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about this one concept that can completely change the way that you play and view Valorant. It's my goal to help each and every one of you guys improve as much as possible and recently I've been thinking about it and I found that this concept is one that I haven't really talked too much about in other videos, but one that is one of the biggest concepts that you need to understand. This one concept is going to be broken down into a couple sections that I'll talk to you guys about and once I fully understood this stuff and once I really used this stuff in game I improved super super quickly right before we jump into the video though guys I want to take a moment to thank Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video Valorant Tracker is a companion tool that runs in the background and gives you information about yourself to help you improve I've been using Valorant Tracker for months now and it's really a game changer when it comes to stats I use it all the time to check my agent KDs agent win rates map win rates, and so much more. It also comes with lineups and guide videos for every agent in the game, all in one place for you to access. Valorant Tracker will also show you your stats from when you first started playing Valorant. So you can go back and look at your stats when you were just a beginner and compare them to where you are now, and it's honestly really cool to see it all. If all of that wasn't cool enough already, Valorant Tracker is 100% free to download and use, so make sure you guys go down in the description or in the pinned comment to download Valorant Tracker today. Thank you again to Valorant Tracker for sponsoring this video, and with all that being said, guys, let's get right back into the video. The concept that we're going to be talking Talking about in this video is awareness. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys already know that awareness is a really important concept to be able to understand, but a lot of you might not understand how to actually apply it and why we need to apply it to improve. But what does awareness really mean and how do we even define awareness? Awareness is defined as the knowledge or perception of a situation or fact. As we all know, in Valorant, knowledge is key and being able to perceive the situation that you're in and have the most knowledge in that situation, you are going to always come out on top. And this doesn't only apply to Valorant or even video games in general. Anything in life with more awareness, you will become better at. Awareness is a pretty broad topic. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking it down into five sections so that it all makes sense and it's easier to apply and understand. These five sections are going to be map knowledge, enemy positions, teammate positions, audio, and agents and their utility. Let's start off with the first section on the list and talk a little bit about map knowledge. The reason why I put map knowledge first is because I believe that it's one of the most important concepts to improve. Having good map knowledge means that you understand every angle and position that enemies can hold on said map. You also need to understand how rotates work for that map and the overall flow of the map itself. The easiest way to gain map knowledge is simply by playing the game more and playing more on that map. Over time you'll understand the angles and positions that enemies like to post up on most commonly and the way that the map flows and works. This is very important to understand early on because every player at a high level has a really good understanding of map knowledge. This is more of laying the groundwork of being aware, like the first thing in awareness is map knowledge and it's something that you learn early on, but without it we can't do any of the other steps. For example, if you're in a game and you die from someone and you're like, wow, I didn't even know that that was an angle that they could hold, that is super good information because you are building your map knowledge and you're building your understanding of all of the positions and how they work. Now that I've explained what map awareness means, we can talk about the next section, which is enemy positions. Having good enemy position awareness means that you understand all of the angles that an enemy could be posted up at at said time within a round. That it might sound confusing or complicated, but at the very start of the round, when the barriers first drop, there are only so many angles that an enemy could be posted up at. I've gone into a custom game here to kind of explain this a little bit better to you guys. So as you can see, there's a barrier here. So when the barrier goes down, there are only like a certain number of positions that an enemy could be at. You walk up here, there could be someone posted up here. You clear that, you don't see anything. And a lot of new players or less experienced players might have their crosshair like over here or something like that, or like over here, which it is possible for an enemy to walk down here. Um, that's why it's good for someone to maybe post up here and get a deeper angle on this. But just being aware of whether or not there could be an enemy there at a given time 
and being ready to take that fight is one of the most important concepts that new players really need to learn early on if they want to see success. As you get deeper and deeper into the round, it starts to become harder to tell and less clear where all of the enemies could be positioned. This is the exact reason why map control is very important and it's good to take a lot of map control early on so that it is more clear and you have more knowledge on where all of the enemies could potentially be posted up. For example, if you guys are attacking and all five of your teammates are clumped up in one area, it can be really hard to identify enemy positions because all of the information that you're lacking across the map. Remember that in Valorant, the goal is to take as much control of areas as possible. When you control an area of the map, you control information and the team with the most information about the other likely comes out on top. When you're playing in a round, you want to constantly be asking yourself, can there be an enemy posted up at this angle? If the answer is yes, then always, always expect there to be. And make sure that you're putting your focus on angles that you know enemies could be at and ignore ones that they physically can't. But like I said, this gets harder to identify as the round goes on because enemies could push up further and get deeper into spawn. This is also why lurking is so powerful is because it can be really hard to identify whether there will be someone there or not if they are making no audio and playing far apart from the team. This section goes really hand in hand with teammate positions. The next section is teammate positions and this is just as important as enemy positions. It's important to understand where your teammates are so that you can play off of their information that they're giving you. For example, if you're trying to hit B site on Ascent and you look at your minimap and you see that you have a teammate all the way up mid holding CT while being exposed to market and not being shot, that is really good information. Even if your teammates aren't calming, you are now aware that market is clear and therefore you have less to clear, making it easier for you to take sight. Being aware of where your teammates are positioned can give you a huge advantage in understanding where your enemies can be positioned. The next thing that I want to talk about concerning awareness is audio. Audio is super, super, super underrated information in Valorant. Playing slow and playing quiet and listening for enemy footsteps is a super, super good way of being able to tell where enemies are playing at and how many are there. I'm going to play you guys a clip right now of how I used audio to my advantage to get a lurk and get three free kills in our post plant on B. How's it going? Brick, uh, stones right now, mid. I suggest you move. 120 cipher. <sighs> danger, danger. One enemy remaining. 120. Nice. Okay. Nice. For whatever reason, my clipping software didn't pick up my mic or voice, but I was telling my teammates, hey guys, I have really good timing. Just chill. I can get free kills here. I reassured my teammates that if they just tucked and hid, I'd get free kills. And if they played off of my contact on this flank, that we can make a huge round happen here, which is exactly how it went. The only reason why I was able to do this is because I had really good awareness for the enemy audio and the enemy positions along with my teammate positions. And in the last session, section of awareness, we have agents and their utility. What I mean by this is you need to be aware of the agents that you're going up against. If you see that a team is running one sentinel and that one sentinel that they're running is sage, is that their flank will be most likely open at all times. Without a killjoy turret, chamber trip, cypher trip, there is nothing to watch their flank besides one person. Because of their lack of an agent with a trip, you can really abuse a huge part of their team. Being able to identify cracks in their team composition like this is super important. Not only this, but if you're in a 1v1, for example, and the enemy that you're going up against is playing Sova, be ready for that dart to come in. Be ready for him to hop on his drone and put yourself in a position position where that agent would struggle to take the fight the most. Or for example, let's say it's a Phoenix or a Breach. Be ready for a flash to come in to flush you out of that position or to contest that position if time is running low. Being highly aware of the utility that the enemy that you are going up against has will give you a huge, huge edge in your fight. I'm constantly doing this and I highly recommend that you guys also get in the habit of doing this too. And there is my crash course on awareness in Valorant. Like I mentioned towards the beginning of this video, this is, in my opinion, 
one of the most important concepts that you need to understand, and it's something that I haven't really talked a whole lot about. I've talked about different aspects of being aware and awareness, but I've never actually made a whole video covering on it like I have this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or found it helpful, and if you did, don't forget to go down and drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you've not already. Make sure you guys go and check out my last video. I talked to you guys about my settings in Valorant and gave you guys my best settings that I use. I also want to thank you guys so much for all of the support that you guys have been showing on the channel. You guys have done so much for me and I cannot thank you guys enough for all of that. I have a Discord server linked down in the description below. You guys should go join that. We have a super chill community and we'd love to have you there. Thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day or night to watch this video and I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. You see on you say so night long. I give anything just until me wrong. I give all my time just to make you mine. I hit up your core. Like what we do this time. We got matching PFPs and her bios both the same. She's my goth ABG. I know they all act the same. When she talks to other guys, I think I'ma blow my brain. See her in a VC. I think I'ma go insane.